नमस्ते स्टूडेंट्स हमेशा खुश रहो बी आई एम जेवींस डॉक्टर नीरज होलिया फैकल्टी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वेटनरी साइंस ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर सो टुडे वी आर हियर टू डिस्कस द टॉपिक कम्युनिकेबल एंड नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस एंड साइंस सिम्टम्स ऑफ द ट्यूबरक्यूलोसिस सो दिस टॉपिक कम्स अंडर दिस सब्जेक्ट मेडिकल बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट सो यू हैव very well know about the disease what are the diseases so diseases are the uh, uh, when our normal homeostasis is not maintained or our normal uh, physiology is disturbed that is known as the diseases so uh, there are two types of diseases one is the communicable diseases and uh, uh, second one is the non communicable diseases so uh, communicable means that that can be communicated or the infectious diseases means they can uh, be transferred from one to another okay one person to another another person so uh, the communicable or the infectious diseases are caused uh, uh, generally by the the microorganisms such as the bacteria viruses parasites fungi uh, and they can be spread directly or indirectly from one person to another so some are transmitted through through bites of the insects while others are caused by the ingesting the contaminated food and water so uh, a variety of diseases uh, these producing bacteria and viruses are uh, are already present in in uh, in the mouth nose throat and respiratory tract of the the diseased person so various conditions such as the leprosy tuberculosis uh, and the different strains of the influenza viruses can be spread by coughing sneezing saliva and the mucus Uh, uh, and the the unwashed hands also so th there are a uh, 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 different uh, type of disease also that is the std the sexually transmitted diseases so they are they are trans uh, such as the hiv or the viral hepatitis or 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 the uh, the other types of diseases and they can be they can be uh, infective and infective through the bodily fluids such as the blood and the the uh, body fluids which which can be transmitted from one person to another so uh, the uh, insects play a significant role in the transmission of the diseases the communication the communicative diseases uh, for example the bite of the anopheles mosquito transmits malaria parasite and that can wreak havoc uh, a high risk population such as children under under the age of 5 and the pregnant women are are at the high risk for this disease likewise the yellow fever uh, has also seen uh, due to reduced vaccination efforts okay so uh, many uh, neglected tropical diseases are caused by the unsafe water poor housing conditions poor sanitation in a uh, specific types of the reasons so uh, this is uh, Uh, about the communicative diseases so other type of diseases uh, is the non communicable diseases okay ncds non communicable diseases so so uh, they are also known as the chronic diseases so these tend to be uh, long duration and are uh, the result of the combination of genetic and physiological and environmental uh, and the behavioral factors so uh, the main types of non communicable diseases are uh, the the cardiovascular diseases such as the heart attack the stroke the cancer chronic respiratory diseases such as the copd and asthma and diabetes so these are the non communicable diseases means if if one person have uh, this type of disease the other uh, in the um, um, vicinity uh, exact vicinity will not be contaminated will not be have the same disease from the disease person so that are the non communicable diseases so if the non communicable diseases are there so what are the reasons of the non communicable diseases so we we know that the uh, the communicable diseases are caused by the microorganisms but what is the reason of the non communicable diseases so uh, the risk factor of the non communicable diseases are um, basically divided into two type one is the modifiable behavioral risk factor uh, that is uh, the modifiable behavior such as the tobacco use the physical inactivity the unhealthy diet and the harmful use of the alcohol uh, so they that are these are the modifiable behavior risk factors because they are the risk factor but they can be modified okay 
so another uh, is the metabolic risk factors so metabolic risk factors contribute to uh, uh, the four key metabolic changes in uh, increase uh, the risk of the non communicable diseases the one is the raised blood pressure okay they can raise the blood pressure they can raise the overweight or the obesity uh, the hyperglycemia the high blood glucose levels and the hyperlipidemia means the high levels of the fat in the blood so these conditions uh, can be created by the metabolic risk factors so these are the uh, communicable and the non communicable diseases and uh, the next is uh, topic in the next session will be cover the signs and symptoms of the tuberculosis so hope you are satisfied with this digital session and if you have any query please write in the comment box i will uh, resolve your query uh, this session is powered by digital version 2 jyoti vidyapeeth women's university jaipur thank you